Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Black Adam. So finally, this movie is out. It's been a movie that has been in the works since like 2014. This is a kind of an achievement for Dwayne Johnson of The Rock. So let me get off the get it off my chest it's an okay movie but there's a lot in it i didn't like and i was disappointed in so this is not one of those bad shit it's trash or maybe my you know bias makes me love the character it could be a mixture of things but i'm i'm thinking it's in the same category as the more morbius movie from marvel that i watched I find myself watching a movie that someone with some talent and love and appreciation for the character, the genre, whatever, put together the best movie they could put together. So, it's okay. But I've got a lot of shit wrong with this movie that bothered me. I'm going to get through this movie like I would The Expendables, or like a... You know what? I might even put Morbius as a better movie. In the structure and the way it was made, because I got through the movie without rolling my eyes too much or being pulled out. And I was pulled out of this movie a lot. But, as again, as I said, it's going to be a fun movie for people, an action movie. It's, it's okay. So, it's directed by uh, Jamie Colette Sarah. Um, okay, I don't know really much about him. Written by Adam Skykeel, Rory Haynes, Sohab Nosurani. All right, well, producers Dwayne Johnson, Bo Flynn, Danny Garcia, Hiram Garcia. So, I don't know how to really get around this, but I did not like. Hawkman. Uh, I think it's played by um, Aldous Hodge. Did not like him at all in this movie. I didn't like the kid actor who's part of this whole thing. Nor did I like the I don't know um, the mother, the person who starts off this whole thing. Ugh. Didn't like much of the ancillary stuff. And. Okay. They have a character in here called Adam Smasher. And it's horrible. Everything they try to do with this character. From the forced humor. To the awkward situations. Is bad. I'm sorry. Just bad. And this is another thing about. What I like in a movie. Or what I want to see. Interfering in my actual love of the movie. So, I'm going to put this in the same category as, let's say, Guardians of the Galaxy. Did not want it, did not want to see that iteration of Guardians of the Galaxy at all. I wanted the original. I've talked about this. Van Astro, Captain 27, Charlie, Nikki, the whole thing. Now, this goes with a, hmm, a Justice Society team and the team consists of hawkman did not like dr fate i loved pierce bronson nails it great um portrayal of the character and then they go with cyclone which i would not have picked but the actress is awesome in the part her part is not major, but enough that you can tell she's super talented. Character was done well. The special effects, yeah, let's go Morbius again. In comparison, she's a wind elemental, or whatever the fuck she called it. Aerial kinesis, something. Uh, anyway. And this Adam Smasher, who's horrible. Just horrible. I don't know about the actor, you know. Probably a good actor in that sense, but this is um 
not good. I did not like this Adam Smasher, all the things they tried to have him do and being put in and just didn't work. Now, we're talking about Dwayne Johnson as Teth Adam, Black Adam. I mean, the only thing I will say is he should have had some hair. It's so much the character for me. Again, these are characters like I have the runs of Justice Society. I love those. I love the runs, certain iterations. Black Adam, I love this character. Um, you know, DC's portrayal of a sort of anti-hero, but you know, mostly a villain in a sense. So, in the structure of this movie, I don't believe the whole Black Adam story in a sense where I'm not captivated and caught in. They do a couple of twisties, you know, let's shift this story to another area. And in those transitions in the movie, let's call it Act 1, 2, and 3, it loses a lot. So, again, can I put on the Expendables and have fun? Yes. I'm going to, I put this movie on and just to, you know, it's the way I compare Man of Steel, where a movie sucks and it only really appeals to me in the last 40 minutes when he's Superman from the cartoon and he's destroying everything in the fucking cities and it's Superman. So, you know, I'm going to have fun. The kid and me is going to go berserk and that is here. He's good. He's Black Adam. He's made to be born to play Black Adam. Fine. Should have put a little hair on him. Give him the iconic look in the comic. Fine. His progression is a little too flat for me. This is one of those movies where the description of it falling flat kind of applies for me. Like I said, it's an okay movie, and there's a lot to enjoy if you're really looking for just, like I said, an Expendables movie. Or I don't even want to put this in the same category as like Kick-Ass or things like that. I think they were done a little better. Well, maybe a lot better. There's just a lot of love and baggage here. Like I said, I am, I was an avid comic book collector. I've got 18 or 19 comic boxes, the long boxes in my house. Comics are everywhere. I nerd out and I love it a lot. Just Society has always been a favorite of mine. Black Adam. So... Seeing the Justice Society, really only two people, Hawkman and Dr. Fate, who have two newbies, let's call them Cyclone and Adam Smasher, are going to have to take down Black Adam. And that's the real focus of the movie, because there's a kid in the movie who is just, it's just, I don't know why they do this. It didn't appeal, it doesn't have any resonance, it doesn't work for me. But the kid's mom is on this archaeological dig type movie, and she's got three or four people with her. Gotta find this, you know, buried tomb with an artifact that's dangerous. Uh, in my own thing, I don't give a lot of spoilers and plot reveals, but there's a certain crown, an ancient crown that they're looking for, made of a special material that's fucking ridiculous to pronounce. However, in the search for this, the mother has to awaken Black Adam. They go through this, through the movie where the kid's in a predicament and fucking Black Adam's there. And Black Adam from the beginning is just not taking shit. He's one of those, you're going to die, I'm going to kill you type characters. Now, I don't think they portrayed him as well as they should have from the comic. I think there's a little too much levity in here from, you know, just the, the beginnings of it just don't resonate with me. But, like I said, it's The Rock. He's playing Black Adam. He's been trying to do this for, what, 18 years, it seems like. It just, just gets ridiculous, you know, from 2014. And anyway. This is not the... It's more hype than good in, in that sense. So, again, I'm faced with that dilemma of this is not the movie I wanted. And when you go and do a little bit of the behind-the-scenes stuff, 
This is supposed to be more in the Shazam world and blend in, which it is. In, in the movie, it kind of gets to that. But they do a really, uh, in my opinion, a stupid thing at the end of the movie. So, again, like I said, you got Act 1, Act 2, Act 3. It's not very well put together. There's too much things going on and bad little pieces that are piecing this together, uh, the connective tissue. It's just not done well. And then they do this thing where you know the movie's not over yet, but it's supposed to be over and you know what's coming. And they go the route of, you know, look, pretty bad CGI villain. And it's the surprise twisty villain, let's say. And Black Adam's needed. Okay. And it, it just falls flat for me. And then, at the end of the movie, they do something which I thought was mind-boggling, fucking stupid. It annoyed the shit out of me. Now, this is spoilers. This is a major end credit scene spoiler, so you've been warned. You know, you get through this movie, and it's an okay movie with bad elements that, you know, you, you can look and see someone did their best to put them together to get it out there and make this vision and dream of not only Dwayne Johnson's, but what DC could use and need is a solid movie franchise other than fucking Wonder Woman. And, you know, Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson is the rock, so it's going to be fucking awesome. Anyway, you get to the end of this movie where his... Journey has been completed. He sits in Kandak, and we await the wonders of the DC Universe, cinematic universe, and how he will be incorporated. Now, if you do a little behind-the-scenes stuff, like I said, you know this was supposed to be part of the, uh, the Shazam family movies, or whatever the fuck you want to call them, and in the larger DCU, fine. But, again, warnings. They set this movie up with Amanda Waller, who's the, you know, Suicide Squad lady in charge of everything. And her portrayal in those two movies, yes, two. The fucking first Suicide Squad shit garbage fest, which has some elements you like, of course. And the new one, which might be a little more fun, but it's still not my bag, of, you know, not my cup of tea. So they portray her in the beginning as setting out this team, the Justice Society, which I found ridiculous because as much as I like the actress who plays Amanda Waller, her character is shit. It garbage throughout the movie. She, you don't have a character who kills 10 of her fucking own FBI agents to keep a fucking quote-unquote secret. Act like a shitbag. Get a second movie. Double down on the shitbag attitude and the crazy zany fucking um, over-the-top black ops shit they have her here as our integration into this movie and i found it awful but not only does she send out the justice society and is dealings with them which is okay whatever at the end of the fucking movie again spoiler at the end of the movie black adam sitting you know deciding what to do in his country of contact amanda waller sends him a drone and basically warns him and threatens him. He is to remain in Kandak. He steps outside. He will not live to regret it. Okay. Fine. He says, I call your bluff. Go fuck yourself. Blah, blah, blah. And she says, oh. Oh, he says something like, there's no one on this planet that can stop me. Which is fucking stupid. Fucking dumb. But anyway. The mother wall says, I can call in a favor and I know someone who's not from this planet. And right away... Fucking, I got those, oh no, they're not going to do it. So what happens? He goes, send them all. Blows up the fucking drone. And Superman Henry Cavill appears. Now, as much as I like the guy, and I can't fucking stand that movie, but he's a great Superman in that sense. And I just kept going, why? Fucking why? Is it... Is it the desperate need for fucking the DCU to be a cohesive whole? Are you going to put you, all, this, all this is writing on a subpar movie that's okay? Bring in Superman. 
it's not you know it's not every day uh, the world is threatened by one person meaning you know someone with so much power where was shazam you fuckers had this opportunity but you wanted to set up superman so Dwayne Johnson can look and give the smirk and they can stare at each other. We need to talk. Like setting up this fucking thing when who gives a fuck? Like how many people here really watch Superman Shazam and it's Black Adam cartoon? It's fucking awesome. And it's this whole point of Billy Batson, the young boy who turns into Shazam, obsession with Superman, Clark Kent trying to, you know, make him breakfast and stuff. And Billy Batson being chosen by the Wizards to become Shazam. And it's just the fucking animated movie, the show, whatever it is. It's fucking awesome. I, I watched that thing a thousand times. It's so good. Yet, they want to put Superman, Henry Cavill, in the end of this movie and tease it like it was some... This is fucking stupid. Because, yeah, it might have first started out as a Superman, I mean, a Shazam Black Adam movie where Superman might have been involved, you know, hawking to the cartoon. I could totally have seen that working. But you have your origin of Shazam. He is a character now. He's out there. I like the movie, by the way. I actually enjoyed that movie a lot. I actually teared up when he created the Marvel family. And I saw all the fucking Marvel, you know. Anyway. Um, I really like that movie. Why not use it? Why would you fucking put Superman at the end of the fucking movie in a teaser? Like, when does it have a work? Stop it. Yes, I love Henry Cavill as an actor, and his portrayal of Superman is pretty good. His Clark Kent sucks balls. That fucking Man of Steel for fucking nearly 90 minutes, whatever the fuck it is, is garbage. Until he puts on a fucking cartoon, car you know, his fucking outfit, and just starts wrecking everything. And he's Superman. I fucking enjoy the last 40 minutes of that movie. But. You have Shazam. It's part of the fucking lore. Down to the bare bones. I don't care how many specials in the duration of the comics. Where Superman was called in to help stop Black Adam. And it just resonated so fucking wrong with me. That it kind of sunk me at the end of the movie. Now, mind you, I'm watching this movie. I'm a comic book nerd. I love the Justice Society of America. I love Black Adam as a character. I want to love this movie. I want to be in it and captivated. So, I'm already near the end of the movie going, man, this movie's okay. You know, I got through it. But I'm not going to fucking, you know, draw a line and defend the movie. I, I can't, you know. I'm just not. I just... You know, it's, it's well enough that I'm entertained for the thing I wanted to see, and I'm, I'm fine with that. But this movie was all hype for years. They decided to split things up, make a Shazam movie, whatever. They took things out, and somewhere in there, Superman was still, oh, you know, Henry Cavill. And I thought it was fucking stupid, and I fucking didn't like it. So, good for you and your ending of your movie to take a, you know, a mid-end credit scene. And ruin the opportunity. When we know the fucking powers come from the wizards and it's fucking Shazam. That is his arch enemy, his nemesis, not fucking Superman. And all this hype for fucking Dwayne Johnson. Could you not have given him for, you know, what I wanted to see with this movie was DC. Highest paying or highest cost movie ever. Dwayne Johnson is Black Adam. Throw billion dollars at this. Make it the first billion dollar movie. You have one of the greatest action stars of this age. The success that there people like fucking Arnold and fucking Stallone. You have Dwayne Johnson. He is loved. Nobody doesn't like him. He is beloved. He's a wonderful human, off-camera, on-camera. His betrayal of, you know, in the WWF, he has it all and, uh, from that aspect. But it feels like you cheaped out on him. It feels like 
He had to put so much money and dedication through this movie. Because guess what? Me and my friends have been talking about it. How many fucking times did he have to go through Comic Cons and events and really talk about his love of fucking Black Adam and the, and the, the project? And it takes this fucking long to do it. And you cheat out on it. You can feel it throughout the whole movie. It just... Oh, it just... You know, it just... You can fucking... You can ruin an experience by just the ending of a movie. It, it just feels weird. Why fucking Superman? So, in essence... This is a movie you're going to turn on, popcorn fun... Sure, you'll get through the movie. But as a comic book nerd, this is one of those movies where they didn't pull it off for me. Where I can come back and say, Guardians of the Galaxy. I could not give a fuck. I didn't want it to happen in that fashion. But they did a good job. I liked it. Make a good movie. This is an okay movie. It's not a really good movie. So it's going to get you through. It's going to have fun. You're going to walk out and say, look, uh, mindless fun. You know, leave me the fuck alone. I got, you know. I got shit to do. Well, you know, I'm not really... Uh, I don't know. I get these feelings from these movies because I have a love for them that's... You know, it goes back to my childhood and... Holy shit, do I love that fucking Superman Shazam cartoon. Fuck, I had it on every device known to man when it came out. Watch it all the time. Role-playing. Yeah, of course Black Adam's in my, you know... You know, my superhero role playing that I do, and it's just this was just shot again. Spoiler, whatever. I hate when they set these things up and try to give you this awesomeness and then take it away. And I'll explain because, again, spoilers P.S. Bronson is playing Dr. Fate, but it's set up through the movie and it comes at the end where he sacrifices himself. But you, you just lost the best part of your movie because Hawkman sucks cock. Oh, you know what? Sucks dirty, infested cock. Okay, because it's just bad. I didn't fucking like it. I've been watching fucking... I've been in love with Hawkman since I was a fucking... I learned how to read comic books. This is... I've seen iterations of him on fucking Smallville, going through every fucking thing you can imagine up to now. And I've never just been so blah. Like, why the fuck bother with this? This character that has so much heritage and so much you know, knowledge from out, you know, just look at his fucking history and what his real connection to the DC universe is as someone who reincarnates. They didn't want to do this shit. It just felt fucking, you know, the connective tissue was just watered down blah, like a formula that they're trying to use for copy. Because that's in here. Sorry. You, you tried. And that I'm going to give credit for because... I, I got a feeling this would have been a shitty, sucky movie, and I would have been upset and a little angry at it. But again, in the, in the vein of me talking about Morpheus, I'm going to say I enjoyed Morpheus more. I don't know fucking how these words are coming out of my mouth, and I will do much introspective work because it doesn't sound right, and I don't give a fuck. If a Marvel movie made me feel a certain way, I'm going to rip that apart too. And yeah, I, I don't know. Black Adam. Overhyped, okay movie that should have been the fucking staple of fucking comic book movies from the day it was released moving forward. When in the world will you have a fucking beloved actor, character, Dwayne Johnson, Black Adam, DC's, whatever you want to call it, Wolverine, if you want to call it that, who's willing to kill and go do certain things. And by the way, that when the premise is brought up, they never use it properly. Um, There's a great dichotomy type of aspect in Daredevil TV show in season two where he's talking to the Punisher. And it, it, it's riveting. And it's really the discussion between, you know, Daredevil just beats them up and puts them in, but they can get out and they can commit crimes and whatever. And it's that balance of uh, Daredevil who lets one person die or something like that or kills one person and he struggles with that, whatever. Whereas the Punisher is like, no, kill everybody. You don't want these people coming back. And when you realize the depth of his pain and anger, I'm talking about the Punisher, and its reveal in the show is fucking amazing. It's award-winning fucking 
film, anime, whatever you want to call it. It's awesome. Season two of Daredevil, where the Punisher comes in. Now, I bring that up because they do the same thing with Black Adam. But again, and to use a fucking quote, I never thought I'd really hear me say a lot. It falls flat. It's, I don't know what else to say about it. You did this fucking origin thing when all you should have had was I'm saving, I'm bringing my wife back. Or whatever the fuck it was for the most iteration in the comics. Whatever the fucking reveal was, you know, whatever. I don't know about the sun and the fucking, it was just non, it was just garbage. Because I'll tell you what, the first inkling of me disagreeing with a lot of this movie was looking at the fucking time on the movie and realizing in seven minutes into the movie and it felt like 20 minutes because the kid is narrating what's going on and he's telling the story of the ancient egyptians and black adam's origin whatever and then no they didn't they didn't fool me because they knew fucking dwayne johnson that was him and even though they didn't show the face so when they did the reveal are fine whatever but that was supposed to be his depth of power his motion his you know struggling i don't know and it doesn't work it doesn't work you needed him to be way more standoffish and unlikable and i thought they were going to do it there were aspects in here where you know they're obviously going for it right i mean he has a great line where um uh hawkman's you know it's a whole fucking thread about I'm going to take you out. It's just fucking stupid. And, you know, we need them alive, you know, the prisoners. And five seconds before, Black Adam had taken the last prisoner and just threw him, like, 50 miles away in the air. And as he comes up to ask him about, is he alive? He looks over and you hear the thud and the scream. He's like, he didn't make it. And I thought that was good. But you forced it too much. Pierce Bronson's like, oh, you know, you got the... Is that sarcasm? And he's like, yeah. And he was like, I'm wondering. These little things they tried to do should not have been done yet. This movie should have been a dark, fucking scary movie. With just, just a bare minimum of a redemption arc. Then you bring in the Shazam and whatever you're going to do. I don't know. So... For me, this is just like a uh, wasted opportunity. Oh, you know what? No, this is the movie industry. You could build off this, sure. Right? Because now you got Dwayne Johnson in the fucking DC Universe. He's, I mean, what's not to like about this guy? Watch, I dare you to go watch an into, into Instagram or fucking Twitter post that has ever not sat well with you from Dwayne Johnson. He can show a picture of him eating 50 fucking pancakes at doing his workout and his dedication to, you know, keeping fit and being an action star. Everything he does. I love the fucking guy. I watch his fucking movies, even the shitty ones. You know, he's, he's just got it. That charisma. And he, you should have just fucking put $50 billion into this movie. Got the real shit done. Instead, I think he cheaped out. I really think you took all this time and broke these movies up. Didn't have a real vision for anything. And Dwayne Johnson kept pushing you and going, look, every fucking year, I, I'm narrating drawings now. Yes, to promote these things and to get it going, he would sit there with people's artwork and talk about the... Like, it was embarrassing. So you owe him a fucking apology, first off, because he could have even taken his Hercules character and brought it into the Marvel Universe. Like, you know he would have been grabbed up immediately. This is stupid. I don't like aspects of this movie. However, yeah, I've, I've watched Expendables more than once. I, I'm going to enjoy it. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, guilty pleasure, this and that. I want to see superhero movies done fucking awesome. And this is just okay. And I'm going to put it in the category of Morbius. I don't know. Just has that feel to it. That someone beautiful vision whatever couldn't couldn't put it together whether it be not given the resources or the structure or whatever fine i mean look at the casting agent right you casted this fucking guy as uh adam smasher probably fucking great actor whatever these guys i always try to think of it like you, you're good at what you do and i put this type of mindset to everybody thieves criminals you got to give them the respect that they're good at what they do 
I mean, not a lot of them all, but okay. You have uh, an assemblage here that should have been fucking epic. You gave them too much camaraderie and not enough. We don't know these people. We don't know the team, but yet you're supposed to know them. And not only are you supposed to know them, they have two newbies. And it doesn't work. This garbage fest of bullshit the Adam Smasher does throughout the movie is pointless and distracting. And it's not good. So I feel bad even for that fucking actor. Um, Noah Centineo. I'd love to come on here and say, oh, yeah, yeah, his effects were good. I mean, whatever. But he's trying to pull the fucking comedy thing, and he's pushing it too much with Cyclone. It's like, what are you fucking doing? This is a Black Adam movie. You're already, you know, drawing me out because the whole connective tissue is not very well done. So you're riding on my nostalgia, my love of the characters. Give it to me. Right? Or make a very good to excellent movie. Hence, Guardians of the Galaxy, which are my, are, are my favorite fucking movies. I still want to see Vance Astro, Captain 27, what about fucking Nikki and Talon and fucking, oh, it's just Wonder Man. From the, I'll take it all, Ghost Rider, 2000, whatever. And I think that's where I get steered wrong, so it is a blend of what I wanted to see, what I got, and just pull myself out, take a breath, realize it's an okay movie. It's an okay movie that did a lot of things that I didn't agree with, and it's impacting my like and love of the movie. Fine. Am I missing out on a you know iconic moment in you know superhero movies? No. Okay, this is not even Ant Man good. And when I mean my Ant Man, like when, when they when they in, when Marvel and NASA were coming out with Ant Man, like me and my friends would just like, what? Hold on, you're gonna do Ant Man, you're gonna do Scott Lang, Scott Lang Ant Man, like what are we doing here? But you know what they did? They made a good movie, entertaining, fucking movie. And I, you know, I see this is all hype. For an okay movie that it looked like someone desperately put together. That it took someone again. Maybe that's like the new trend. I'm not into it. Yeah, I'm, I wrote a book. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe this is like a trend thing. Now what they're doing is they're making shitty movies, getting them made, and then hiring people, talented people, to go fix this movie. I mean, you can go back to Star Wars, right? Where people talk about George Lucas's movies would not have, his movies wouldn't have been iconic if it wasn't for the people who came in and the editors and the music. So, this misses out on a lot of things. For me, there's no iconic music. This is the, this is the Black Adam we should have gotten in the third movie. The second movie. The first movie should have been blank wall of ego and rage and his, you know, entitlement. And his, like, he doesn't hesitate to... Put his hand through your chest, rip your heart out. Um, what did he do to one villain once? So it was like, what was the crisis thing? And he, he pushes the guy's eyes throughout the back of his head. I mean, you're a superhuman being in the realm and in the, the ranks of Superman and, and you know, Black uh, Shazam. Any normal human in that sense is just turned to paste. If you really, And that was his thing, yeah, you know. He, and yes, they've done iterations with him where he's helped, he's been an anti hero. But you had an opportunity here, and you, you missed it, in my opinion. Dwayne Johnson's a superb actor, on the verge of being maybe a great, but we, it's one of those things about music and singing. You know, I love um, talented singers and bands, and I can be honest and say, look, you know, this guy doesn't have a great voice, but he's a master at what he's got, right? I mean, you can do what you want to do in the... In, no way you sit in the pool of talent and go, this is what I'm good at. I'm fucking excellent at it. So you can have a singer that can't hit the highest notes and the, right? You know what I mean? Not everybody could be the Queens, right? Jeff Tate and uh, so on and so forth. The Freddie Mercury's, right? But, you know, when you're listening to Def Leppard, the guy, you know, you're, you're loving it. And you, it just works and it resonates with what the whole production is. 
And I think this is a missed opportunity. You have Dwayne Johnson who's been fucking hounding you for years to get this movie made. He's proved himself in the box, whatever. And you you fucked it up in in that way. So this is more of a recommend Black Adam? Sure. You want to have a fucking action movie, popcorn movie? Fine. Does it cement DC as, you know, putting a stake in the ground and sitting firm and moving forward? No. It doesn't. I wish it fucking did. I really wish it did. You probably have more of a chance with the TV show, Peacemaker, and uh, maybe Titans, and... No, but you'll, you'll fucking cancel Batgirl movie that's already made, and... I don't know, you know... These executive moves and stuff, let's be honest, Warner Brothers DC is shit to bed over and over. And here you can see, I bet you five to eight years ago, they could have competed with Marvel and and had their, you know, silver trophy award where Marvel got the goals. No, you know, DC has gotten, you know, the pity award. It's gotten the participation award. Granted, Wonder Woman, that movie's fucking amazing. I love it. You know, the talent of Gail Gadot, whatever the fuck her name is, her newbie presence accent kind of works for a fish out of water type thing. And it just, well, you could have done that here. You could have done that. I'm sorry. So this is just a more missed opportunity of hype that I would have liked to have seen done better. Would have liked to have fell in love more with the characters. Yes, I love Dr. Fate. Pierce Bronson was awesome. Cyclone, great. Awesome. But that's it. I mean, uh, Black Adam, okay. Not the Black Adam I wanted. And like I said, if you do a good movie, whatever, I'm going to give it a pass. But that's all this really gets is it's an okay movie where my bias and love for them is carrying me over. I do not see this movie getting critical acclaim. It's not. It's not going to. And it doesn't really need to, right? Like I said, you know, you look at, like, the second Thor movie that's riding on the first one. I mean, that movie's probably made better than this. But, it, you know, I might enjoy this more. I might get through this movie more as a fun romp, and I'll put it in that category with the Thor 2, the Morbius, that type of thing. And I don't know. Do I recommend Black Adam? Yeah, why not? I mean, he's just lovable. You want to fucking love Dwayne Josh? You want him to come over and fucking show you how to work out right and eat fucking food and pancakes with you? You want to laugh with him and joke with him and just just want to give him a hug? He's fucking awesome. I mean, I don't know what to say. Pierce Bronson, I wish he fucking would have been a staple. Why not just fucking plant him in and build around him? You had to use this fucking Amanda Waller bullshit again. Keep her the fuck out. Keep her in that zany fucking world that barely connects to the DC universe. But you now you, you fucking did it now. You got Amanda Waller is our Tony Stark for DC. It's fucking d- disgusting. It's, it's almost disgusting. And I love the actress and she portrays it fucking awesome. And she's probably maybe one of the most talented people in all these fucking DC movies. But when you turned her into a fucking psychotic murderer, which is fine. Suicide Squad, Black Ops, she'll do whatever fucking need. That's fine. Don't stop putting her into this fucking bullshit. Where she's now the catalyst for the Justice Society. And not in a threatening way either. So, you know, you could have started off with, like, uh, Pierce Bronson and Hawkman going, Hey, Amanda, don't fucking call us. Right? If we find you, we're putting you away. I don't care what Black Ops fucking government sanction you got. It should have been a fucking tension immediately. I know, it's like, hey, guys, you know, can you do this? Yeah, we can do it, we can do it. You sure they're up to it? Yeah. No, just fuck off. You're a psychotic fucking murderer, which is fine, but now uh, she's calling in a favor with Superman at the end? Fuck off. All the way to fuck off, Phil. That is just bullshit. So, keep fucking Superman out of this for now. I mean, it might have worked with a Shazam, uh, Shazam Black Adam movie. Where Shazam's origin and his 
trials and tribulations had to do with Black Adam. But no, you chose to go the other way, which I liked. I love fucking Shazam. And you, you broke that apart and you, you play with it. Now you look to highlight and bank off that moment. And I fucking disliked it. I almost hated it. But Henry Cavill's just so good. He's just, you know, uh, you know, so, you you know, it's Superman in his fucking outfit saying, hey, we got to talk, meaning we're both super powerful. But we have fucking powerful people. We've seen them. We've seen what Shazam could do. And we know he's in the same league or better than Superman. I mean, just why? We're fucking to get people excited. I, I just no, sorry. You dig deep, you fucking write well, you flesh it out, you plan these things out. You give me an achievement of progressing through this, and you, you, you miss opportunity. So, there we go. I mean, you can get more in-depth into this, but I spend too much time on these things ranting about certain things. Black Adam, an okay movie, way overhyped, a missed opportunity for DC to plant the flag and say, we're here and we're not going anywhere. This is not that. It's not going to be that. I'm sorry. I love Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. He is awesome as Black Adam. But you didn't write it properly for me to feel it's worth it. And that this struggle of his had any real weight. The fucking reveals, the things, they just don't work. And get the fucking kid out of the fucking movie. Sorry. Look at how good of an actor you are. This is bullshit with the mother and the twist and the betrayals of her team. It's just, you know, uh, whatever. Hawkman's fucking silly. You know, there's a point comes where, you know, Thor's hammer is a joke, right? And it's done so awesome. Like, even in the Thor Love and Thunder where he's trying to talk to it, you know. And, you know, uh, Hawkman's got the Nith metal, Nint metal, and he's got this fucking mace he's known for in the comics, and they just fucking ruined it for me. It's a gadget device. I don't care what iteration they're using, and it spins and it's whatever, and then it changes into an axe. Like you know, whatever. You know, it might have worked if, if the fucking actor and whoever they directed him was not shit, because I fucking hated Hawkman in this movie. Right? It's not a Hawkman I want to see portrayed, but maybe it would have blended in in the overall scheme of this. Fine, you know? Or whatever. They all have their little fucking moments, I guess, you know? Except for the fucking kid and that whole fucking bullshit. So, watch Black Adam, give it a shot. Okay movie. Action movie that'll get you in. And who doesn't love Dwayne Johnson, The Rock? Kudos to fucking Pierce Bronson. And like I said, even the actress who plays Cyclone, and she was she captivated me in that sense because I, you know, you know, certain movies that put these formulas in and you got the, you know, who's your, who, who is leading you as the viewer and, you know, you had your opportunities here and it didn't work. So, you know, uh, Quintus Swindle, whatever the fucking Quintessa, kudos. I mean, you got your opportunity here and sorry for fucking Adam's measure that they decided to fucking try to, shoehorn you into this garbage nonsense they tried but whatever okay movie watch black adam rant love it hate it i don't know let me know hope everybody's doing well and until next time laters